Hello, and I'm back with another project I've been working on. It's around Christmas time right now and Pokemon Go is still a fad, so I decided to do my own spin on an open source project that I found recently, which involved taking an Adafruit NeoPixel matrix and transforming it into a Christmas ornament. Now the project that I um, was inspired by had six different ornaments you could scroll through, including a Christmas present, a house, and a Christmas tree. Um, but since Pokemon Go is a fad right now and a lot of my friends are still enjoying the game, I decided to do my own spin and uh, have it rotate through a bunch of different of my favorite Pokemon from Generation 1, which is the one that I grew up with when Pokemon first came out to the Game Boy. So basically we have all of our code running on Arduino Uno with an 8x8 Adafruit NeoPixel matrix, which is just RGB. Obviously you can change it to work on any microcontroller that you want to, change the brightness however you want to, change the drawings, degree, whatever you want, so please feel free to change my code, make whatever you want, and share it. Right here we have a header file which just defines all the different Pokemon that I'm going to be going through and the functions to draw them. In the actual Arduino file I just basically rotate every three seconds to draw the next Pokemon in the list on digital pin 3. And the actual C++ file that I have is where I define the switch case for drawing all the Pokemon that I've predefined in the header file as well as the actual functions, functions to drawing them. And how I did this was I was inspired by some 8-bit uh, pixel art in which I used a color picker to find the RGB values that I was happy with. Um, you have to change them a little bit because what you see on the screen is very different from what your eyes see as perceived by an LED. So after I defi defined those colors and was comfortable with them, I drew them out pixel by pixel. And you can obviously do this a little bit easier, but I'll just show you what it looks like. So over here, you can see on the matrix, I'm going to be scrolling through Bulbasaur. There's Ivysaur. And a lot of these Pokemon look better in real life. There's Venusaur. Then you can see on the camera, there's Charmander. There's Charmeleon. There's Charizard. Squirtle. War Turtle. Blastoise. Pikachu, Raichu, Jinx, Electabuzz, Magmar, Magikarp, Gyarados, Lapras, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, Dratini, Dragonair, Dragonite, Mewtwo, and lastly, Mew. So those are just some of the Pokemon that I chose to um, have this scroll through you can make as many as you want. You can change the microcontroller, you can add an SD card to have a lot more memory, you can change it to where it's a LiPo battery to power it and so you don't have to worry about being plugged into the wall, etc, etc. So I hope someone enjoys this project and makes it their own and changes it however they want to customize it. I uh, just thought it was a fun little project and also a way to get into the matrix instead of just strips or the NeoPixel rings, which as I've been working with as of lately. An interesting thing to note, which is going to be pretty obvious from the code if you take a look at it, um, we have an 8x8 matrix, but it's actually a zero-based array, so it's 0 through 7 on each side for the rows and columns. So that, as well as some of the code that I predefined in here, you can do either just a draw pixel or draw a vertical line, horizontal line, as well as rectangles. But um, I just did a quick little code so I can whip this up. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time.